everyone, welcome to the Farmington Public Library. My name is Amanda, and today I'm going to show you how to do diamond art. So first thing you're gonna do is pick up your craft bag from the reference desk, and it's going to look a little something like this. And it's gonna say diamond art, and inside you'll find a couple things. We have the directions on how to do this. We have a rack card on upcoming trivia nights and um, more information about our craft bags. And then of course we have the actual diamond art. Everything you need is right in this bag. You don't need that part. Okay. So here is our canvas. It starts off obviously rolled up. So you wanna kind of flatten it. What I do, cause I do this a lot at home. Um, I actually, lay some books flat on it and weigh it down so that it flattens out a little better. So while that gets flat, we have, we have our accessories and our tools. So this is our little pen. This is some glue, some extra baggies, and our little, they call it a plate. And then we have all of our diamonds. Of course, they're not real diamonds. Uh, another term used for these are called drills. So you'll hear that term in the directions. Um, so let's go through the directions. Step one is to ready the tools. We got all of our tools, everything. Use the pen to say, take some glue at the tip. Now, I learned this the hard way. There is a little film over it. So pull that film and then you just kind of get some of that glue at the tip. And then what I like to do is I have little um, dishes that I pour each diamond color in. But you can just go one color at a time, however you want to do this. So we're gonna start with one color and I'm gonna start at the bottom. We have to pull away this protective film because this bottom part of the canvas is very sticky. My cat actually stepped on it one time and he was not very happy. It was entertaining, but he was not happy. So let's start in this corner. I'm gonna start with number nine. So we look over here at the guide and number nine is number nine. So let's look for number nine on our, there we go. So open the bag and then pour some out. And we have our glue already on the tip. We're gonna take one of these beautiful diamonds and place it on the nine where it belongs. And just go to every nine and put one of these on. Sometimes the numbers and letters don't correspond directly. Sometimes if you get uh, a diamond art canvas that has a lot more colors, you'll have a lot more uh, numbers and there might be symbols. But in these cases, it's just letters and numbers. Now, if you understand paint by numbers, you will understand how um, diamond art works. Each diamond, like I said, correlates with a number or a letter. And I have done the bottom part here beautifully. So let's get started and finish this part. Yeah, you guys, I have been obsessed with diamond art for the last couple months. Basically, it's all I do when I get home. <laughs> If I'm, if I'm watching TV, I sit down with some diamond art and it kind of allows me to relax, clear my mind, gives my hands something to do. So I'm not just sitting there. And as you can see, this can take a while. If you need to spread out your diamonds, you can just swish your plate Obviously, you want the rounded side up. 
So you can see that there's a flat side which goes down, and then there's the rounded side. See, sometimes if your, your pen won't pick them up, then you need to revert to some more glue. Then there are some different terminologies. Um, I like calling these diamonds because diamond art. Um, some companies, some people call these drills, which I find strange, um, but you can get round drills like these, or you can get square drills. Some people have a preference I've learned not to have a preference because in the end they all look beautiful. When you're putting these diamonds on, make sure that you try to cover up the entire letter or number or symbol. Sometimes there are symbols um, because you don't want any of that black showing. You just want the beautiful color showing. Okay, so I'm not going to continue because it will take quite a long time for me to finish this row. But as you can see, it's quite simple. Um, just match the color with the number and make sure that you cover up the entire black symbol letter number so that it looks pretty and there's nothing to see but the beautiful colors. Well, I hope that you enjoy creating this beautiful diamond art. Uh, it's extremely fun and very relaxing and you can, you know, get in on the bandwagon of diamond art. It's so fun. Um, a new thing we're doing this year is if you post a picture of your finished craft in this video comment on Facebook, you will be entered to win a prize. We're giving away crafty prizes this year. So I hope that you will post your finished product and you can show it off to your friends and family. Don't forget to pick it up at the reference desk. Thank you.